Right, that is recording. Good morning, everybody. This is just a quick afternoon afternoon video about I've had um, two people. I know it's only two, but I thought well, I might as well tell you. No, um, I'm not worth... Um, asking me about my dad. I thought, oh, that's really nice. So, um, he has stage four Parkinson's and he's come out of hospital oh, probably about a year ago now. And he's on, um, what's that care sort of that care package? The last care package that he can have. Oh, end of life. End of life care package. Um, but frankly, you wouldn't believe it because he's he's bed bound and chair bound. Well, just stop you there a minute. What a horrible name, though. Yeah, it's disgusting. That's what actually that's officially called. Yeah, no, it's horrible. Yeah, because uh, he's quite he's completely all there. Even though Parkinson's, a lot of the people tend to get dementia and things. He hasn't. Um, although he does <coughs> sometimes get mixed <coughs> up, but then frankly, who doesn't? I do all the time, but um, he's come out of hospital and he's just almost back to his old self again, apart from obviously physicalities. Um, so apart from not being able to move and everything, he's chatty and he's very quiet still, isn't he? But um, he has a lot to say. Yes, but it's just having a go at you mainly. It's it's getting it out, isn't it? It's, yes, it seems like an effort. He stumbles quite a lot, but he, he's still so he's quite sociable. Hmm. Um, but obviously, with the lockdown and everything, yes, he's had to. Obviously, both my mum and dad have had to stay in. Although mum goes out for a walk, and that's not really staying in. But uh, we've gone round there and looked through the window. Looked through the window and waved, and he's been chatting. Well, he's he called you Thor, didn't he, last time? Yeah. That was before you had your hair cut. Yeah. So he's got, you know, he's still joking and stuff. Yeah. You know, he's got quite a good he's sense got, of humour. Where's your hammer? <laughs> yeah. And I said I borrowed it off you three months ago. You're not getting it back. <laughs> yeah. um, In the shed with that noise. Was, oh, it was a Rodney. Hello, Rodney. Um. It's difficult though because you have the carers come round and they've got the um, the masks oh, yeah. on as well. So they're even though one of the carers did actually come in and he took his mask off, which I didn't think was very good, and that sort of defeated the object a little bit. But they are excellent. And the two carers themselves as well, um, because there was a lot of focus on the care community with the NHS and everything, were actually in the Daily Mirror uh, as an article. The two carers mm -hmm. that look after Abby's dad. And the photographs that were taken were taken in um, in your mum's house, weren't mm. they? So that was with their cat. Yeah, that was quite quite their nice. Their cat seemed to get in all their photos. Yeah, um, but it focused on you know a lot of their care and stuff, and how they had to wear the PPE stuff and changing it on a regular basis when they're coming in and out. What's of PPE? Pot protection equipment, personal protection. Oh, okay. Yeah, but they're working it's very hard to look after constantly. Them, yeah. They're in four times a day, um, five days a week. Se no, they, seven. No, they have two days up a week. So who comes in on those days then? Uh, another two. Oh, okay. Um, but those four day, those five days a week, they're in four times a day, starting at like six o'clock in the morning, and it's absolutely they're absolutely exhausted, but brilliant. And they get on so well with my dad, and they've really made put him at ease at this stuff, haven't they? Yeah. And so, and he's really not the type of person who would have liked anything like that. But he's absolutely. They've really helped him to keep his dignity and his pride, and he's just taken it in a stride. Uh, they, now, they, they, they? They, they take over from your mother because they get him out of bed in the morning, yeah. obviously. Because obviously he can't, um, she couldn't do that. Anything that he needs to do, go to the toilet, sh 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 wash. They, they help out with all those things and then put him to bed at the end well, of the day. Well, no, they, mum does the eating. Oh, she does a lot of the eating. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. They do help out though, as far as I know. No, I don't think they do eating. Do they not? No. Oh, okay. No, mum does it, that's why she's so tired. I think good dad is constantly eating. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but he's definitely a lot better. Um, so this, so if you have families that are coming out and they're telling you that they're on end of care and everything, 
doesn't necessarily mean that because dad I think the thing is, I didn't like the name of that, like I said a minute ago, yeah, end of life care. The thing is, I guess, when you're... Oh, yeah, not end of care, that's the bit. When you're old... They also told, sorry, just quickly while I remember, because I'll end up forgetting, the doctors in the hospital also told him that they wouldn't be giving him any more antibiotics. And he has get he gets UTIs quite regularly, um, because apparently it's a thing that always happens. There hasn't been an issue giving him... Um, antibiotics is there every single time his own GP just prescribes it's absolutely fine and then he clears it up and comes back again but yeah so don't listen to what you're being told all the time yeah and I was just going to say I don't think that the the, the title or the, the package you know should be as alarming as it sounds because mm -hmm. I think if you get to if you get into old age you know without anyone telling you that you're, you're towards the end yeah. of your life it doesn't mean that it's going to suddenly end tomorrow. It is just an end of life care package. Yeah. So I guess you know, that's maybe something to bear, to bear in mind. But I know me and Abby were very, very paranoid when the coronavirus started occurring. <coughs> um, extremely paranoid. We stopped going around there straight away, mm. didn't we? We, we was normally we go around there once a week on a Friday for, for dinner. Um, and we stopped that way before any lockdown, didn't we? Mm. Because my mum's cooking is shit. <laughs> <laughs> Much like her daughter's. <laughs> no, my mother cooks very, very nicely. But no, it's so they didn't catch anything. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so that's absolutely fine at the moment. I'll put you some pictures around. Um, Obviously, it's not very nice that he can't go and sit in the garden or anything because he can't get up from the chair or anything. Um, but he's quite okay where he is. He's actually quite happy sitting there watching telly. Or you're going to mention the van. Uh, there's been an outreach van, which is a bit like a BT van, that keeps parking outside his window. So the only the only view that he has all day long was off the side of this van. Yeah, um, so I tweeted it, and they did get back to me. But he, he was there for open reach. forty, yeah, open reach. He was back there for about forty-eight hours, and the chap was just not moving it. But there was space for him to have parked outside his own house. But he obviously didn't want to look at his own van because it was an eyesore. So he parked it outside my parents. My mum was really upset about it. Yeah, because yeah, I guess you know it, <laughs> people don't understand the story behind that would you know you've got your dad sat there all day 24 7 and that's his only view of the world yeah it, it's become even worse now with the lockdown and all he could see was the size, the size yeah. of a huge van so um, but they moved it so eventually was, moved it and I just hope that they're not going to put it back again but if they do put it back again I think it might have to go and have a little chat with them go go and have a chat <laughs> yes, because that can't be. You got because, a fan. <laughs> because the uh, carers did even put a little note on the windscreen saying this isn't acceptable, park outside your own house. Yeah, so there we go. Think about where you're parking in future. Thank you so much. Okay, so thank you very much for asking. Um, I will tell him that people are asking, asking but he probably wouldn't care less. But uh, my mother might be impressed with it okay thank you and i shall speak to you all very soon um over and out this song